Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of pedunculated submucosal fibroid. You can see the uterus, urinary bladder. Now, this is uterus, this is cervix, and this is the urinary bladder. The pedunculated submucosal fibroids are attached to the uterine wall by a stalk like growth called a peduncle. The main difference between pedunculated fibroid and other fibroid is the peduncle. These fibroids can grow both inside and outside the uterus. Inside the uterus, this type of growth is called pedunculated submucosal fibroid. Now these uh, fibroids can be all sizes from small as a millimeter to large as a basketball and submucosal fibroids located inside the uterus can deform the cavity there. Now you can see the pedunculated submucosal fibroid is seen in the distal portion of the uterine cavity. Now these types of fibroids can cause heavy bleeding and are most closely linked to the fertility problems. Some fibroids are pedunculated means that they grow on a stalk. Subserosal fibroids grow on the outer surface of the uterus sometimes on a stalk. They usually do not cause bleeding but may cause pressure. Now these uh, fibroids directly impact menstrual blood flow with those responsible for the heaviest flow located inside the endometrium or inside layer of the uterus. Even the smallest fibroid can cause large blood clots during the periods and heavy bleeding may be caused. Pedunculated fibroids may cause sudden and severe pain. These fibroids can grow on the inner and outer walls of the womb. They are connected to the womb by a thin stem-like structure. Abrupt movements can cause pedunculated fibroids to rotate on these stems, which may cause severe pain. Now the dying fibroids, many women experience painful cramping during their periods due to fibroids. However, however, one of the main indicators of a degenerating fibroid is an acute stabbing pain and swelling in the abdomen. The pain and swelling are caused by the release of chemicals from the fibroids as the cell die. Again, you can see the pedunculated fibroid inside the uterine cavity. Pedunculated fibroids are non-cancerous and non-cancerous uterine growths attached to the uterine wall by a peduncle, a stalk-like growth. Those that grow inside the uterus are known as pedunculated submucosal fibroids and those that develop outside the uterus are known as subserosal pedunculated fibroids. Now the uterine fibroids most often appear on ultrasound as concentric solid hypoechoic masses. This appearance results from the prevailing muscles which is observed at a histological examination. Now you can see clearly the stalk or peduncle by which the fibroid is attached to the uterine wall. These, these solid masses absorb sound waves and therefore can cause a variable amount of accosting shadowing. Many fibroids contain changes in genes that differ from those in the normal uterine muscle cell. Estrogen and progesterone, two hormones that stimulate development 
of the uter uterine lining during each menstrual cycle in preparation for pregnancy appear to promote the growth of fibroids. Fibroids contain more estrogen and progesterone receptors than the normal muscle cell do. Now the uterine fibroids are non-cancerous growths of the uterus that often appear during childbearing years. Fibroids range in size from seedlings undetected by the human eye to bulky masses that can distort and enlarge the uterus. Fibroids may be single or multiple ones. Uterine fibroids are generally armless and often go away on their own when symptoms occur. However, untreated fibroids can interfere with the person's quality of life and may lead to complications such as anemia. You can find some testing and uh, information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.